You finally stand before me. Who are you? I am Hanakon, Lord of this castle and protector of the pure spirits. The great lord! So you're the head honcho of all these douchebags that have been trying to kill me, huh? Head honcho? Douchebag? I only understand a few words of your dialect. A remedy must be found to make your speech less annoying. Ah! Oh, I felt something inside my head! Did you try to melt my brain with your magic? Huh? What I cast was a spell of mental linking to allow me to understand your peculiar vocabulary, you jerk. Hey! As you see, I'm trying to use some of your slang to make you feel more comfortable. Melting your brain. <laughs> if only you had one. If I cut your head in two, the only thing I would see is a thread running from left to right that connects your ears. <laughs> Very funny. Wow, you're the first guy I've found in this castle who has a sense of humor. It is your dialect. Extremely curious. You use insults to joke. Well, it works. Listen, you seem pretty cool, you know? I feel bad that we have to fight to the death. To fight to the death? Why do we have to fight? Because you're the final boss, right? The biggest badass of them all, and I have to kill all of your minions, and you say, what is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. But enough talk, have at you. Nonsense. Where did you get this stupid idea? Well, from video games, action movies, and comics. All of them follow the same pattern. At the end of the adventure, you have to kill the big boss who's in charge. Seriously? This is not very original, don't you think? And people who listen to these stories, they don't ask for a different ending? No, not really. They get angry if there isn't a final boss monster, or if that boss is easier to kill than his minions, or if he doesn't transform at least three times, or sprout one big wing, or turn red, or something like that. I see. I suppose they must be thoroughly indoctrinated, and when the pattern is broken, they whine like children. That's right. They're too deep in the system, like in the Matrix. So, then you don't want to kill me? Kill you? On the contrary, young one. I seek your help. My help? Now I'm clueless. But I've killed tons of your minions, not to mention defeating the Seven Guardians. Aren't you angry with me? Have you not noticed that after cleaning a room, in a short time all the creatures appeared once again? Uh, hey, that's right. Of course it is, young one. This is because almost all the creatures in this castle are magical. With the help of the pure spirits, I can resurrect them again and again. To be honest, you kept me very busy. And the Guardians? They haven't been resurrected. Guardians need more magic essence and more time to revive. I waited for you to come here to get them back. Do you realize how many times I've had to resurrect you? Me? But I haven't died. <laughs> You haven't died. You were the most work for me. But why did you resurrect me? I'm a nuisance to you, aren't I? Because, as I said, I need your help. As you may know, my task here is to keep the pure spirits of magic safe and out of everyone's reach. I was chosen to do this. To reach this castle is nearly impossible due to the giant mountain that must be climbed. Very few arrive. And those who dare enter here meet my minions and shadows. We capture and torture them. Or I keep them as slaves. But there is a race who is especially troublesome. Elves. The elves are creating a way to teleport themselves en masse directly to the castle. A portal! That's correct, young one. A giant portal that will be opened in five days if we don't interfere. They could enter by the hundreds and take the entire castle. If this happens, everything will be lost. For this I need someone to teleport near the portal and kill the mages that are working on it from the other side. Once they are dead, the portal will close. And my friend, that someone will be you. Me? Why not one of your minions? I don't know, someone more powerful. I see you're not very clever. Most of my creatures are created by magic and cannot leave this castle. 
They exist only so long as they are within the castle. On the other hand, you have become very powerful. The experience you gained in my castle has shaped you into the perfect weapon against these lamer elves. That's why I teleported you into my castle. Wait, what? You brought me here? That is correct, young one. I warned the pure spirits of your arrival and asked them to give you their magic. Yeah? And I thought that I was playing them. It was too easy. All of this has been training. Isn't it too risky? How can you know that I'm going to help you? Even more, how do you know that I won't try to kill you or something like that? Simply because if you kill me, you won't return to your world. I brought you here, and only I can return you. Also, if you help me, I will return you to your world, and you will retain what you learned here, and receive a mountain of gold. Sounds very tempting. You know what? I've always hated elves. They're a bunch of snobs, always worried about appearances and always attacking people with their bows. So, young one, will you join the party? Count me in. Magnificent. The teleporter behind me leads to the room where we have opened a portal to the elf town. Enter when you are ready. I will wait for you on the other side. Do not delay long. We have but five days before their portal opens. Hey, Zira, I really like your boss. What? I mean, your boss is a nice guy. I did not expect that. We must hurry. You will have to prepare yourself well. We cannot fail in our mission. Our? Yes. The destiny of the pure spirits depends on you destroying the portal before the invasion. It is a great honor to be a part of this but also a huge responsibility. Don't worry. We won't fail the boss. <laughs> Looks like we're going on a final adventure together. Before going on, supply yourself as best you can. Once teleported, there is no way back to the castle.